My name is Joey Gamash. I'm a trainer, a former fighter. I was a two-time world champion. I'm working this Saturday show, October 1st. Uh, Sergio Martinez is fighting Darren Barker. I'm working the corner of Andy Lee versus Brian Vera in a big rematch. Uh, should be the fight of the night. I also have a fighter named Boyd Melson on the show. Um, it's great to be in Atlantic City uh, with this kind of uh, fighters. A top class card, Luda Bell is promoting it. And uh, I'm excited about seeing what turns out for the night. Andy Lee is a southpaw. Um, he's got 20 plus wins, one loss. His only loss is to Brian Vera. This is a very important rematch. Um, I feel Andy will win. He's a smarter fighter. He's learned from the loss. Um, very exciting. It's the co-main event to the Sergio Martinez and Darren Barker fight. It's a, a card that's going to have a lot of fireworks because it's good matches. Uh, one thing with Luda Bell, he puts on good fights and makes the show that much more exciting. You can expect a, a tough fight because Brian Vera has a lot on the line as well as Andy Lee. Andy Lee wants to redeem himself beating Brian Vera and Brian Vera, if he were to win, he'd be looking at a title fight. So the winner gets uh, an automatic bout with the winner of the Darren Barker and Sergio Martinez fight. So there'll be a lot on the line. And what's your prediction on Barker and Martinez? Well, I don't know Barker a whole lot, but I, I do know Martinez. I mean, uh, I think it's a, a good fight. Barker has a good amateur background, uh, former European champion as a professional. When you're at that level, uh, you're all pretty close to the same talent. Just got to see where uh, he fits in among that group. How do you stop mistakes from happening in the ring? Well, you learn from a loss and you go to the gym and you fix them. You take and you analyze and you fix one thing at a time, step by step. Like they say, by the inch it's a cinch, by the yard it's hard. So pro progression comes in small steps. I have another fighter named Boyd Melson. He's 154 pounds, he's 5-0, and oh. he's uh, a junior middleweight, and excited for him to keep uh, progressing through his career. Why do you feel he has the potential to be a winner? Well, I'll tell you why I think that. I think because he's got a good amateur background, former national finalist, he beat good fighters like Keith Thurman and others, so uh, I feel that he got the background that it takes to become a champion. He had like 75 amateur fights. Uh, he qualified real high in tournaments. Uh, that's usually the experience that you need to go further in the boxing world. And you know, I think he's uh, progressing as a professional, learning every day. Any advice to fighters out there? Keep your hands up at all times. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.